pay attention here for a few moments. First, I'll talk about surface fishing. If you guys have fluorocarbon, use fluorocarbon. Um, enough to come down to your reel seat is what I always recommend. You want to have enough to be able to cast and to be able to retie a couple times. So you want your knot to be right about here and your hook to be down here. So you can still cast, but you don't have to wind through your knot. It's very beneficial. As far as the hook size goes, you always want to match the hook size to the bait. It doesn't matter what you're fishing for, you match the hook size to the bait. If you're fishing a little anchovy, you have to fish a small hook. If you're fishing a big sardine, you have to fish something like a 2-0 or a 3-0 like you have right here. Bait selection is the key to catching fish. I don't care how much money you spend on a rod or how much you think you know, if you don't pick a bait that's gonna swim, you're not gonna catch a fish. It's just that simple. Basically what you're looking for is the hardest bait to catch in the well. And by the way, this is not how to catch a bait. <laughs> I see this all the time. First off, if you do manage to catch one, you're going to crush it and kill it before it gets on the hook. And the whole point of fishing with a live bait is having it alive when it gets in the water. So what you want to do is cup your hand from below and you lift up. You want to be nice and gentle. You don't want to squeeze them. And there you go. Now there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest way is to go through the nose like this. And the other way, which is a little bit more advanced, is to go through the butt. Like that. They swim better that way, but it takes a little bit more of a delicate touch because they like to rip right off the bottom. Now once you get your bait hooked, regardless of the way you hook it, you wanna let go walk to the side of the boat, bait pan, and get it in the water as soon as possible. Those of you guys fishing the sinkers and the dropper lips, just leave your rods at the rail as opposed to bringing them up. If you guys are fishing live bait, you want to bring your rod up to the rail just like this, or to the bait tank just like this. One hand for your hook, one hand to grab your bait, and be done with it just like that. Guys fishing the surface, just a hook or a small sinker. You guys want to fish in free spool. Once you guys get that bait out in the water, you want to let it run as freely as possible. You're trying to represent something that looks natural in the water or as natural as can be with a hook tied to it and a line dangling away. Again, that's where the fluorocarbon really helps out. Donnie hooked three or four fish yesterday fishing 25 pound fluorocarbon on top of 25 pound, 30 pound monoclonin. So if you have it, please use it. It will be your best interest to do so. Only enough fine pressure with your thumb to prevent a backlash. If your bait swims back to the boat, just change it. I always recommend when you're bait fishing, change your bait at least every two to three minutes. Myself, if it doesn't swim when it's get, once it gets in the water, I just change it right away. Again, the liveliness of the bait is in direct relation to catching a fish. The more it wants to swim, the more likely you are to catch a fish. It's just that simple. You always want to feel your bait swimming. If your line goes slack, regardless of if you're fishing up and down or fishing on the surface, if your line goes slack, make sure you back pedal with your fingers or wind it up. Bad. You always want to feel something on your line regardless. You guys get a bite from one of these yellowtail, it's going to be very, very obvious. This thing's going to speed up. You're gonna feel more line pressure. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Push this thing up so it's vertical. Myself, I like to wind into the fish, but you can let the line come tight and then set the hook. Once you become engaged with one of these bigger fish, they're gonna start pulling line off your spool. Now, if you're not accustomed to this kind of fishing, the first reaction might be to put your thumb back on the spool. Do not do that. Whenever this is in gear, your thumb should never be back on this spool. And also, before you start fishing, make sure your drag is set properly. Like guys get confused and girls get confused with the, the hook size, you want to match the pressure of the drag with the line glass that you're fishing. If you're fishing 10 pound, obviously it needs to be looser than 40 pound. You match the drag pressure with the line class that you're fishing with. It's just that simple. And you should never have to touch this again. 
Don't push this all the way forward. And don't put your thumb back on the spool because you're just gonna lose your fish. Now, these fish are not gonna stay in one spot. Your only job, once you become engaged, looking for a boy coming up there. Here we go. Once you become engaged with a fish, is to stay in front of it. It's that simple. Don't be afraid to move around the boat. Communicate with one another. We get four or five fish hanging. It's gonna be on you to help us out because we can't stay on top of each fish. So if Sunny hooks the fish, she's gonna say, hey, I need to go under you, or I need to go over you. Don't keep your feet in one place when you have a fish because if your line is over here, that means you're over four or five people. And you're more likely to lose your fish because you get tangled up. Keep your line in front of you at all times, really important. When this thing is running, which it will do, your only job is to let your reel do its job. Let it run away, let it tire the fish out. Keep it in front of you, that's your only job. Once it does stop running, it's really simple to catch these fish. You lift up slow and you wind down fast. That's it, you don't need to do this. No good. Lift up slow, wind down fast. When these fish tire, they lay on their side and they do a big orbit. Even when you can't see them. Your goal is to keep that orbit all the way to the surface. If you go down too fast and give that fish some slack, it's gonna go, hey, cool, and swim away. And that's when you lose your fish towards the end of a fight. Also, the longer a fish is on, the more likely it is to have ripped a hole in its mouth. Give it some slack. Oh, hook falls out. Oh, there goes my 30 pound yellowtail because I didn't listen to the guy talking. He was short. We don't gotta listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if we're not like next to you, you see this fish come up. If you see it, yell out color. It's just an alert. Hey, this guy's gonna need his fish cap for you soon. We should pay more attention to him. Get your fish up to the surface. It's extremely important. You do not continue to lift up. Let it lay on the surface. You lift these things out of the water and they go crazy and that's when you lose your fish. Just let them lay out there nice and easy so we can get them and put them on the boat.